It is a beautiful thing to see you three up here together. <laughs> Ash, we love you, buddy. thank you. Congratulations, babe. Yeah, wow, um, unreal, unreal. It's just um, unbelievable. I've got to say, when uh, this is our fourth year at night of broadcasting the Australian Open, and you dream of this as, as a broadcaster. I know our whole wide world of sports team who are here have just been willing this on, and we've had quarterfinals, we've had semifinals with you, quarterfinals, and then to actually be sitting next to you now and calling you an Australian Open champion. <laughs> And I know I'm not alone. There's plenty here, and there's so many more millions at home and around the world. Uh, well, how, how's it sitting with you? Yeah, it's heavy. It's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's heavy. It's, it, this is incredible. I think, time and time again, we've come so close, yeah. and and now to to have my hands on on such a beautiful trophy after an exceptional fortnight is just unbelievable. Ash. <laughs> it's, this feels just bizarre. I'm so proud of you, obviously. But I, we, I do want to talk about the match, but I just wanted to ask you about the presentation and how special it was to have Yvonne there. A uh, hell of a surprise. Yeah. Uh, I don't <laughs> quite know how Craig kept that a secret. And uh, to be honest, I'm really glad that I didn't know because uh, I, I think I would have been I would have been under the pump. I would have been feeling it. But uh, an awesome match. I mean, Danielle's an exceptional competitor. Forced me to bring my best stuff when my back was against the wall. So uh, really happy to be able to come through in two and to be able to see Yvonne after... Having not, I mean, I haven't seen her since this time last year, so we've got a few more hugs to, to celebrate yet, but unbelievable to see her. And Ash, it was a phenomenal comeback in the second set. 5-1 down. What actually was ticking through your mind to get yourself back to that point of being in contention for the second set? It was incredible. Yeah, I mean, I think I just tried to get a little bit more aggressive. Uh, I went through a little bit of a phase where I gave Danielle too many looks at second serves, and, and she's one of the best returners in the world uh, and was able to take that on. And just through those couple of games from 5-1, from I just wanted to try and get some momentum going into the third, look for forehands and try and control the court a little bit more. The enormity of the occasion, Ash, we, we spoke to Casey and Alicia about this, whether, whether you think much about it, coming here into a final, knowing it, you know, you've got to go back to 78 for Chris O'Neill to be the last Australian woman to, to celebrate being an Australian Open singles champion. And then we hadn't had a, a, a one in the final since Wendy Turnbull back in 1980. Did you think about the history when you see those faces in the crowd watching you trying to match them? Does it, do you think about that at all out there? Does it add to the occasion, the nerves? It, it adds to it, but I don't think about it. Uh, to be honest, I, I didn't even look up tonight to see who was, who was sitting and who was watching. I, I've never been one to kind of peek around too much. I, I like to try and just do my thing. And um, I, was, I was pretty nervy this morning. It, was, it felt like a really long day uh, waiting, to, waiting to play. But once we got here and got back into our normal routines, um, played a couple of sessions of cricket, we were, we were fine, we were flying again. And <laughs> we were right. I love the way you've been so relaxed with all your sport behind the scenes. Did you know Cathy Freeman was in there tonight as well? No, I didn't. And, and again, um, looking up at the end, seeing Cathy, she... I mean, she's an inspiration. She's been an inspiration to so many people all around the globe. But uh, for our heritage, for our family, she, she is just the best. And um, to be able to share that tonight with Yvonne and with Cathy, um, I know I'll never forget. Ash, you're, um, I've watched a fair few of your matches, but the emotion that you showed and displayed after match point is something I've never seen before. It was pure elation, it was aggression, it was happiness all rolled into one. What what were you thinking at that point in time? Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, the guns out. <laughs> I, I, I kind of didn't realise that I did it. Um, it, it just kind of came out, I think, the whole week I've, I've felt uh, quite reserved on court, just because I've just, or the last two weeks, just because I've been trying to stick process orientated, but um, yeah, unreal. I just, yeah, that's that's not me. But anyway, <laughs> I know too. You, you're very good at giving a lot of your trophies to mum and dad, so they can for keepsakes in their house. Surely you've kept a few shelves free in your own home now Please. after the number three Grand Slam in particular here in your own backyard. I still don't have any at oh, home. They're um, no, they're they're for mum. It's it's. It's amazing because there's so many people that have put time and energy and, and love and, and life into my career. And um, the first thing my, my sister said when I saw her is my niece is going to be so pumped with this big trophy. She's just yeah. going to love it. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice to be able to share it with them. 
Um, and for me, it's, it's about the memories uh, more, than, more than the trophies and more than the wins and losses. It's the memories that we make along the journey. And um, we, we talk about it being this incredible journey, this great adventure. And it's not always about the destination. It's about making those things happen along the way and really enjoying it. Ash, I've got to ask you, uh, one of the most famous fa uh, photos that's gone around in the last couple of years <laughs> is little Ash with your trophy in the racket over your, over your shoulder. And now you're here as a three-time Grand Slam champion. <laughs> Little Ash could have only dreamed of something like that. <laughs> it's extraordinary. You haven't changed a bit, by the way. That photo is distributed around the world more it's than I you. had ever hoped. Um, the fact that it even became... Oh, we got onto the internet. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But anyway, you guys love it. Roll with it. We'll be right. <laughs> Ash, someone incredibly special um, in your tennis and life, Craig Tizer. It's a really unique relationship. To me, it seems like you are the best of friends. It must be pretty amazing to have someone by your side throughout, not just this year, but continual years on tour. Yeah, I, I trust Ties with, with my life. He's not just a tennis coach to me. He's been a mentor. He set the example. Um, he is the best coach in the world, without a doubt. The, the way that he's able to tactically give me things that make it really clear for me to then go out uh, and try and do what I do. But the, the way that he manages our whole team, brings everyone together, um, he's an exceptional human being. Uh, first and foremost, and I'm so incredibly lucky to have him as a coach because he, he's changed my career and he's changed my life. And Ash, I know there are three little special people. You've got your two sisters here, mum and dad, uh, pretty much everyone, your first coach, Jim Joyce, Jason Stoltenberg, but there are three little people at home that I'm sure maybe had a, a later night tonight and got to watch you. I'm not, I'm not sure if they will, but they, they'll watch in the morning. Uh, I, I know that I, I love them to death, Luce, Luce Liv and Oscar, they're... They're my North Star. They're the reason why I love to travel the world and, and do what I do and, and make them smile doing it and try and try and inspire them to, to be the best that they can be, try, di try different things. Um, and, you know, I think it, it, it's just amazing that they're interested in tennis now. They want to give it a go. They want to give it a try. And uh, they still don't quite comprehend what I do. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I, I love the fact that it, it doesn't matter to them. Uh, and, yeah, I, I can't wait to get get home to them and give them Into a the dogs. Of course, the dogs. Yeah. That's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, no. the dogs as well. <laughs> but no, I, I can't wait to get home to them, give them a, give them a big cuddle uh, and be Auntie Ash again. Hey, uh, Auntie Ash, let's shift the, <laughs> shift the subject off you for a moment and let's talk about the, your mate next to you because it's some ride just watching how Casey sees and enjoys what you do and obviously the highs, the lows of tennis. We've got some footage of you courtside tonight, Casey. Were you the cameras, Just ask oh Steve God. War. The cameras are always <laughs> watching the Rod Laver Arena. But this was... <laughs> I think you might be 1-5 down in the second there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Why so close up? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't even show that much emotion That's, when I played. I was going to say, think. I never saw that on the doubles court. I know, right? <laughs> No, no Ash knows absolutely how proud I am of her. She, everyone thinks I've done a lot for Ash, but I cannot explain what Ash has done for me. We are so lucky and blessed to have each other, aren't we? And I don't take that um, for granted for one minute. And I'm just so proud of her. She's just a bloody legend. <laughs> and she's a great friend and I'm so grateful and lucky to have her. I'll tell you what, there, there wouldn't be any other person that I want sitting literally direct, me, direct across from me yep. when I was on the court. I was trying not to look at Case. Um, I'm like looking around, trying to look everywhere but at Casey, but just knowing that if, if I needed anything, not, not even that there is anything to give other than the support and being there, because, um, yeah, Case, she, she changed my life. She, she brought me into this sport again um, and allowed me to explore to, and to grow as a person, and, um, yeah, I love her. So what's the goal now? I mean, you've got you've got three different Grand Slams on three different surfaces. You're in ridiculously elite company with that as well. If you're talking active players who've done that, Serena Novak, Rafa, Roger. That's some pretty nice company to be in. I don't, I don't belong with them. <laughs> it's quite remarkable. Have you, have you thought about beyond these? No. No, uh, to be honest, it... Setting up this season, setting up our year, uh, it was very much a focus of, of getting through January and enjoying it, uh, really enjoying every single moment and, and being present in the moment, uh, going out there having fun. And uh, we, we've had a hell of a month and, and now it's time to celebrate the fact that we had not only success as a team, yep. um, but we made so many memories along the way and grew so much. So I think for, for us it's about um, celebrating the small things um, as well as a, a pretty cool thing that's happened tonight. Now we hear the party's about to get started. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
race has had a long night too, so I, I know night. you're keen to share in a beer and a, and a, it's a cheers. Long like this. Ash, you're very welcome to. I know Case has had a long night yeah. too. We hear there. These are a couple of your favourites too, Corona or yeah. Peroni tonight, Ash. What are yeah, you oh, I'm a Corona girl. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's, how about away. Yeah. <laughs> that's definitely you. Casey's even got the bottle open. No, we'll let you yeah. have a sip, and then you've got to do one thing for us as well. After you finally enjoy it, we want to show this silverware off to. Yeah. How are you going, this? <laughs> Oh, this is this is going beautifully. Do you want me to do it? I'll get a tinny. Oh, there, there we go. go. Brace first. Come on. There we go. Can you it's for you, Ash. Have a sip. How Enjoy your party. Come on, Brace. You know, we'll continue enjoying them. I'm not going to drink alone. No. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Come on. Yeah, come on, CD needs one. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, having one for sure. They'll be hiding them behind us soon, too. <laughs> Ash, cheers to you. Cheers. Congratulations. Cheers, we couldn't buddy. be prouder. Cheers, Ash. Ash, Ash cheers. 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 the champion. And it's the first of many we imagine, Ash. Uh, enjoy the moment. I think these guys want you to hold up this, the silverware and show them what you've got. Ash Barney's all yours, guys. Show the party! Go on, Ash. Have a great night. Take the roadie with you, Ash. Have a beauty. We're so proud of you. Brace. Oh. Cheers, Brace. Simply Cheers. ridiculous. Oh, Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Alicia.